My mods have actually gone mad with power. <laughs> really? Like, they just... Bro, somebody got banned before they even talked in my chat. <laughs> like, they... Oh. Bro, they're starting to spawn camp people from other <laughs> chats. I'm just like, what? they did nothing wrong. How do you even know who to ban if you've never I seen them before? <laughs> Apparently, they were in another chat, and they were, I looked at the, the reason they got banned, and it just said they they're uh, they spoiled something in Puffer's chat. That's Dude, wild. there was like there was like Damn. 200 it's like the equivalent of God vehicles. giving cancer to a baby. It's worse. <laughs> I mean, you're not what? wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> I had a really inner desire to say something really fucked up right there. So that was you a, did. It's you similar. actually still yeah. did. It's similar. It's similar. Cancer as a baby getting banned in Grizzly's chat fair. before chat. That's you know. fair. Equal. Equal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, you have cancer? Yeah. Imagine yeah. getting banned. You have it so good. <laughs> Count oh, <laughs> <laughs> your blessings. Uh, baby born, six hour ban. <laughs> oh six hours. God. Already comes out with stage five cancer. Dude, uh, have channels. you seen the trailer? Yeah, I've seen both of them. Of course. Like it's a good trailer, but you know the part. Fan. No, the Mario, like the scene where it starts at, where it's like Mario and Bowser going head to head. <laughs> I can't get over Chris Pratt's voice. I don't think I can watch the movie. He just goes. Let's go. What? Yeah, it's like one percent it, Italian. It's so it's not... yo, let's go. Let's go. I am Chris Pratt. Let's go. Well, he's not Italian anymore. He's he's normal now. Normal. Wait, what? <laughs> no. normal. No, dude, I don't know if Chris Pratt actually said that, but I've seen memes or whatever where it's like Chris Pratt says Mario is not Italian. He's normal now or some shit. <laughs> I don't know if he actually said that, but it's still funny to say. It seems like something he would say. Somehow, yeah, um, I don't know. I'm excited for the movies because I'm a Mario mega fan, dude. Anyway, we should probably ask our guest questions because I feel like everyone always gets mad at us when we have a guest on and then just like talk about bullshit. Don't, yeah, yeah, don't do that's anything the best specific part of the, to ask of the podcast. Though it's it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a mix. Talk about a absolutely nothing. <laughs> Why do we always gotta go <laughs> with shit? Your daily we, poop levels because we all shit. I, it all used to be yeah. bad, bro. Um, like it used that, to be like, a lot or a little. <laughs> like a, a lot, and it wasn't. It was. It was. It was wild. Oh, it was like it's not Mountain a good time. Slush. Not regular. It, it wasn't. It used to have unpredictable IBS. shit. Uh, it was like oil. Ba it, it, oil was, would be a compliment, to be honest. <laughs> oil. Um, for Damn. It. it used Bacon to not grease. be the best because I just I would just eat whatever the fuck. I didn't know I was. This is a thick yeah. problem. I like ice cream. I didn't know I was allergic to ice cream for like ever. Um, oh yeah, that's a problem, huh? <laughs> so what? I would fucking eat ice cream, and it's just it's oh, it's no. a war zone in there. After, and I'm like, ah, it's just because. <laughs> Like I didn't question just it because really. you've never questioned it. You've never found like a, a no. correlation between ice cream time and violent shit. You're like, time. God damn, I'm shitting my fucking brains out everywhere. It could not be the ice cream I just ate. I refuse. I don't that. know why. I, I genuinely didn't find a correlation. And then Anything I realized, that. like, after I didn't eat ice cream a lot, I was like, I'm wow. I'm like, this is what a normal poo looks like. Okay. Is it is it just ice cream, or are you like lactose sensitive or lactose intolerant, or whatever it is? Ice cream for sure, because I think I'm low, like very minorly allergic to both sugar and some dairy. And when it's sugar, mixed, yeah, that's when it's mixed, I don't think you'd be allergic to sugar. That, your body needs that. that. That's a yeah, well, like processed sorry. sugar and shit like that. Okay, oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Not I, I, I can eat like a like a fruit and not like go to the hospital. Yeah. What about like syrup? Can you have syrup? What if it's syrup? I, I can have God. I can have syrup. Yes. Yeah. Can you eat there, uni? there, bud. No. Maple syrup. I had a I had a friend when I was like fifteen or sixteen, and he came over and slept at my house, and he took a whole like bag of that. It wasn't full, but he took a bag of it, put it in a bowl, and microwaved it, and then ate it with a fork. 
It was the most fucking the fuck? putrid thing I've ever so seen. Vile. Was he on keto? That seems like a keto <laughs> thing people do. That is not a keto. keto. Diet, that is yeah. like, bro, I'm healthy. I'm losing weight. Mm, fuck off. Microwaving. Eat a bag of cheese. <laughs> he microwaved it so that the edge of it was like crispy, and then the rest was just melted oh. fucking cheese. Crispy and cheese goes it. hard though. It, but yeah, yeah, but like in a, in moderation, like with a little <clears throat> bit of nachos or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm down. Or like on a uh, you know on a grilled cheese when you get the little crispy cheese on the side. Yeah, count me in. But a fucking bowl of it. I, I was just bewildered. It's funny how you say, just take away one ingredient and all of a sudden it becomes really weird. Yeah, yeah I know. Like grilled cheese, if you get rid of the bread, it's just fucking weird. Just Maybe like, he you was have, like, like expecting to eat it with nachos, but then was like, oh, fuck, he doesn't have nachos and felt dude, guilty not finishing the cheese. He, he it's like eating cereal or... without the milk. No. Cereal no, without it's milk like, is still it's, fucking. Yeah. It's, it's like yeah, eating the good. milk. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's like eating it's, the milk without the cereal. It's also funny that if you just... If you eat yeah. some shredded cheese like just out of the bag, it's like uh, who cares? But then if you melt it in a bowl, it's like what is wrong? Well, with it, you? Was, it was it was it wasn't an animal. It wasn't that he did a little bit because like yeah, I guess cheese is good. I personally wouldn't have that as a snack, but yeah. it was like the fact that the bowl was like <clears throat> half full and they were like this deep. <laughs> That's weird. Like it was it was a, it was a significant eat? almost all of it. There was a little bit oh. left that like hardened on the bottom because it was sitting there too long. Damn, and like he did hot sauce on he, it. He didn't ask for no. No, he didn't ask for nachos. He didn't ask for anything. He literally just did it. I didn't stop him. I thought I'm gonna let him cook. I'm gonna see what comes up here because I thought surely he's gonna do something after microwaving the cheese, and he he didn't. He didn't do that. Maybe he was off on you though, and just expecting you to like eventually be like the host and be like, "Do you want some chips with that?" And then it just well, became too awkward to ask. We, we were like, <laughs> some chips with that. we were like was friends not- enough where like he could have been like, "Hey, dude, can I?" Have-? And like you're 15 and 16, and like. My parents weren't home, so you got, like, no shame at that age a lot of the time, especially when nobody's parents around. So you just, like, yeah. they'll just rummage their shit. Like, he yeah. all, he's eating weird shit in my house. Like, a completely separate time, but he had uh, a little little plate with peanut butter on it, and then he put a little bit of milk on it, like, mixed it with a fork and ate it, like, did that. And I was like, it's hmm. sure, man. Is he yeah, food this guy at home? Is- like... I, I, I don't know what's going on in his house. I imagine there's some sort of mental abuse for him to think those are okay meals. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Weird little guy. I haven't seen him in a while. He might be dead. He might have ate an airplane or something and just like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and cons- So there's like these like uh these like carved out like m- m- uh metal or stone like I don't know something like, like it's in like Europe yeah, and it'll cave? be like a dog <laughs> and the dog area is super worn out because people are actually petting the, the dog. The dog is worn out. <laughs> yeah, worn out as dog. <laughs> What? How many pets does it take to kill your dog? Just turn him into <laughs> nothingness. How many pets to get the Atomize your dog. dog one pet at a time. That's smart. Atomize. <clears throat> it's like what? the video of that guy cooking the chicken breast by slapping it. Yeah. Remember, you can That's it. Yeah. yeah, you could, yeah. You could yeah. cook an animal like that probably. If you got a dog to sit still long enough, you could probably cook a dog by slapping it enough. I probably wouldn't recommend it. I'd like to like, try it. I feel like oven roasted would probably be a lot more efficient. Air fried dog probably goes kind of hard. Put some garlic parm on it. I saw a video the other day of somebody what just tossed guy? a live cat on a grill and it just cooked it. What? what? The not, was that TikTok? Was that also, not sure though. Yeah, was yeah. that also on TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it Something did the your thing where it like, on Facebook. it like skipped ahead <laughs> like a few times and then it was just a, like a crispy burnt cat at the end. And it had all the hair <laughs> on this too. this video where grandma dies. Why did nobody, that? What the fuck? There oh, is yeah. some fucked up shit on Was there lore? Was there lore? Or they just no, no, literally found just, a cat I mean, and thought, let's grill this thing. It was Did definitely taken in, in like a third first? world country or something. You could tell, but yeah, they just, boom, they just tossed a cat what on. What were the things that you could tell that it was a third world country with? Yeah, were they not yeah, throwing like it to on hear like that. a black stone? <laughs> like a yeah, red it wasn't on a big old foreman. <laughs> <laughs> nice big smoker. <laughs> a pellet grill. <laughs> we'll put some apple wood pellets in here for this cat. <laughs> it was three sticks over an open fire. <laughs> With the Wi Fi meat thermometer in it. They were, they were <laughs> wearing cut up tires as flip flops. <laughs> no, it was definitely like a floor, a floor fire. <laughs> a floor fire. It was like a dirt, dirt pile of fire. I don't know. <laughs> We've all been to those kind of parties. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. I'm having a dirt floor fire if you guys want to come over tonight. Yeah. Hang out. Party cook a at cat, the baby. shelter tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we moved on Bring from lighting the little slop. metal barrels. <laughs> Bring your cat Bring from your home. Cat. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to no. cook the cat from home. There was a question oh here at some point, wasn't there? Pooping. Oh, yeah. what the oh. fuck? <laughs>
And welcome back to the goon. Oh, welcome back to the goon. Oh, welcome back to the goon. Goon, 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 goons. Oh, welcome back to the nope, 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 nope. Oh, oh, welcome back to the We have a guest Hello. today! We, we have a guest today! We, we have a guest today! Uh, young we Gravy! Have... Welcome, Young <laughs> Gravy! Uh, that's <laughs> toxic. <laughs> it's over. Stay away yeah, from toxic, my mom. Toxic. No, it's Post Malone. <laughs> <laughs> also, sharding is a real thing. <laughs> Sharded this yeah. morning, was sharding yesterday, had a bunch Dude. of Ubers Ubers and taxis to take, and I swear to God, you know when you like hold a fart in, it yeah. just goes like yeah. bloop. And, yeah. Then, like, <laughs> yeah. and then you're like, oh, it's gonna it's gonna come back with a vengeance. Yeah, right. So yeah. uh yeah. It's like it it's doubles like, up. It's like, all right, you're gonna hold me in, I'm gonna come back with a buddy and yeah, fuck should, you up. Yeah. Like, should I like, shart now or yeah. double it and give it to the next person? <laughs> oh. but that's kind of funny that you bring that up because we, we usually asked our guests like their most embarrassing shit story. Yeah. I was gonna ask you that and, today, but you, know, you brought you, it up with, with your own you, uh, free will. <laughs> with you touring and everything, have you had like a moment where you've had to shit or shit yourself or just in general? In yeah, I um Hell yeah. I was I was on stage. <laughs> oh, no. Where was I? Oh, uh, I, it was someplace in LA. It was at, at the observatory, which is like Santa Ana, actually. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I ended up going to Shake Shack because the double smoke shack is incredible. And then I swear to God, I got like the worst food poisoning I've ever had in my life. Mm. And I think I shat like 300 times in the next like oh. two days, three dude, days. Dude, it was, it was, it that was sounds vile. like hospital bed. Like, dude, you know when you're like walking and you have to like spread your ass cheek because it like hurts so much? Yeah. Uh, so yeah. that, like was the, that was the vibe. Bogus. Dude, I was literally sitting in the shower just like on the like the, the circle, you know, where it like drains. Yeah. I was just like, all right, like, I was just, I was just, I was just blowing ass down. But so long story short. <laughs> Long story short, I guess the rest of the the rest of the body was just like super ready to give up, and uh, I was on stage, and I jumped a little bit, oh, and, no. I was like, oh. and it just it just oh, no. it just like a little like gushy gush came out, and then on stage I was like, guys, I literally just shat myself. I'm gonna leave, and you I just said left. that to like the audience. Was, yeah, it was sick. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, Fuck yeah. yeah, he shit himself. And uh, yeah, I'm happy it's never happened again because that was brutal. I was just yeah, like, that oh, sounds oh, that sounds like hell. Although like I feel butt. like you've you've built yourself a good audience that would cheer for you shitting your pants instead of being upset True, that the yeah. show is delayed. <laughs> I mean, they they, they understand. <laughs> uh, everyone has has shart themselves. Like oh yeah, it's a. I remember the first time it ever happened. I was like right about to get into class in high school, and I was like oh, this is a little fart. I'm just like, let it blow. And then it just wasn't. And I was like, I'm just going to go home. I was so embarrassed. I was like, I have to go home now. So, Dude, every time in high school I ever had to shit, I'd call my mom to pick me up so I could stay home the rest of the day. Like, I had to never shit at high school once. I yeah, I would always like, I would always go to the nurse and, like, make up some excuse about, like, oh, I don't feel good. So you could shit I, in the I nurse never bathroom? wanted to shit in the uh in really? Bro, bathrooms. Those yeah. things are in the war zone. Kind of dope, bro. But like, no, you, sh you if you're shitting in there and like somebody walks in on lunchtime, they get their boys. They start like chucking fucking pencils and binders over the top of you. Lighting just toilet paper on fire, yeah. and throwing it over the stall or some shit. A live like, hand grenade. Wow. Like it just it just doesn't end, man. You end up That's on that. someone's fucking Instagram story. You're just sitting there shitting. <laughs> There's a fu dude that's like a fucking I've seen so many fight videos on like reddit and stuff of people like throwing down in high school bathrooms and they'll like punch th somebody through a stall and there's just some guy just mind his own business on tiktok <laughs> yeah. just trying yep. to shit yep. Classic. <laughs> yeah that is that is why I did not want to shit at high school ever people yeah. that come to shows and <laughs> sing the words to songs that you wrote or or know shit that you do it's just like such a weird crazy feeling yeah you know? seeing like comments like fucking big fan from mongolia or something it's like bro there's like <laughs> right. like how how did you even find me like it's yeah. so cool yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it's weird i i had never done a show in mexico and i was in mexico city like for the past like a little bit week yeah and dude i got noticed heavy there like really more than i've ever been noticed anywhere and damn. i was like damn like every single street i was getting pulled up on pretty much 
That's like, Mexican crazy. people fucking yeah, their, dude. with their music and shit. Maybe no peso. Yeah, yeah. maybe no peso, dude. <laughs> Mexicans love are them, passionate man. people with music, dude. Especially yeah, metal are. and stuff. Some yeah. of the craziest shows you see are goddamn Mexicans. Going <laughs> why fucking why wild. say it like that? Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. energy, 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 energy charge. <laughs> that, that, was a, that was a Fox News. It was movie. probably <laughs> it was probably the accent. <laughs> it's their energy though. It was dude. Their energy's fucking. <laughs> their yeah. energy's unmatched. Yeah. They're yeah. super super passionate. <laughs> Ask. Yeah, I feel like YouTube half of the job is just trying to find ways to keep yourself busy because like this job has so much fucking downtime, and like you can spend that downtime in a lot of very bad <laughs> ways for your health and mental health and as youtubers do and, and yeah and other things um yep. so i feel like half of what you should be doing as a youtuber is like trying to find little tasks that make you feel like you're doing shit even if it's like the most mundane thing ever like realizing you need ketchup and going to the store and getting ketchup like <laughs> you literally have to do that shit as as a content creator even musicians like whenever there's downtime because there's so fucking much of it with those careers that it's like you got to fill it with something useful. <laughs> yeah, and not <laughs> drugs and, yeah. be, and alcohol and being and, lazy. And yeah, going and after underage people for fuck's sake. That the is people a in this one. job. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. One. That's even in the music industry. I feel like that's any like thing where you have like fans, like Parasocial where you perceive. Relationships. Yeah, where you like yeah. perceive viewers as fans. I feel like. Any of those careers, if you're like an insecure fucking weirdo, that's immediately where it goes. Is like, I'm going to have coitus with a 16 year old. Please don't take that out of context. <laughs> <laughs> that was a perfect clip. Nobody was talking over it. F9. Well, what I want to know though is yeah, like, do you, do you think she had a Xanax? Like, probably prescription, or did the chimpanzee have a Xanax prescription? Because if so, who's oh. prescribing monkeys drugs? I'm sure there probably is like a like some vets out there that deal with like exotic animals, like non typical. Like obviously you can't go to so. like a dog and cat vet for a fucking chimpanzee. <laughs> yeah, I brought my horse to the dog vet and get all confused. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, can you just, that dog is big. Can you just walk any animal into a vet? Like surely there's some animals they turn down, right? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure if you tried to get a, a full live blue whale into a regular vet, they would. Oh, what are you just on. tearing it under your arm like a basketball? <laughs> I got out of the back of a little wagon that I dragged behind me. <laughs> My beluga is sick. He's coughing. Help. <laughs> they don't yeah, go I'm, no more. I'm, I imagine they, they, they have a, a line where they're not going to... I'm sure it, 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 if you can buy it at a pet store, you can take it to a regular vet. That's probably the... Okay, now... That's what, probably a good rule, though. What constitutes yeah. as a pet store? Because what if I buy a back alley beluga? Is that, That's I mean, not a pet store. That's a back alley beluga. <laughs> but, <he's, laughs> oh, but it's his store. You can't buy BABs and take him to the vet. That doesn't work. Big ass belugas? Back alley belugas. That's what oh. we call it in the biz. <laughs> it's like CTC, remember that? <laughs> BABs. Yeah. There's a BAB yeah. in the area. Any vets, let us know. What what do you have to turn down? <clears throat> Has anybody yeah. walked a horse into your store before? I mean, I feel like I mean, as a wild. vet, as a vet, you're technically like a doctor, so you have to learn how to like act with different animals. I don't think they treat I don't think they teach them how to work on like a slug. Like, nobody's bringing oh, a fucking shit. slug on a leash. How do you even tell if your slug's alive or not? <laughs> if it's I don't wet. Know, it hasn't, How do you it know when you take it in? Sluggied in multiple days. When I don't you know. dunk it in salt, it doesn't react. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you get one anyway. shot at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think. I don't think. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, a lot of bands like that do that, processed. though, they have the. No way. Mm. No fucking way. I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt you. Are you using a back scratcher right now? He is. Yeah. He's got the bear claw. Dude, are, are you a fuck? You're 85. <laughs> Dude. He's got a promo. Bear claw. Claw for all the ages. Here comes a promo. I thought it was Here a fucking a fly promo. swatter and you were just swatting flies off your back. It is a fly back. swatter. <laughs> is it a real bear paw? It's just not a very good one. Oh, is, that is that a taxidermied hand? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Miniature bear. I don't know. My cousin got it for me for Christmas like two years ago and I just fucking That is a it. shit ass Christmas present. Oh, it, it, well, out of any, out of any Christmas opinion. present I've gotten in the past two years, this is the thing I use the most. I use this every fucking day. You are else. not on the nice list. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, 
Dude, it's, you, you, most, you've never used like a back like any like those extendable ones. I use like the, the wall. Those no, ones? I'm not. I use my hand. Uh, I can. Reach oh no, my I use back. the wall too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, like, not a, I'm not a bear. I don't just scratch up on a fucking tree. Yeah, that's what I do. I do it on the, door. Like, on the walls of my house. Yeah, I go to a corner of my house. And just, oh, just like the jungle. Yeah, the guy, the guy who rubs his asshole on a building needs a back scratcher. <laughs> rub your back on a building. I did that one time when I was like 11. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one time you got caught. That doesn't define my personality, <laughs> boss. Stop talking about it. Well, <laughs> yeah, no, I use the it's I toxic. use the corners. I use the door uh, the doorways because they're like most most of the walls in my house have like rounded corners. We're talking so, about like, ass can't... rubbing still, right? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna scratch rounded my corner ass so. rubbing. But like, if We're I'm talking the... about bidets still, if I'm in the kitchen, I'm not gonna come in here and get my thing. I'm just gonna scratch it on the nearest. Sharp edge. How many back itches do you get? Yeah, what's, Several. what's going on He's in like, your oh God, back right now? My back <laughs> itches and I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> Fuck. Just use, Fuck! A, use, a, uh, use a fork. <laughs> what do I do? I will admit I have used a fork before. I was in the kitchen. <laughs> I was yeah. like, God damn it. And I just, you know, I still used it to eat. Just a full-size yeah. butcher's yeah. knife. Yeah. Just like a knife. You know what's worse, though? It, back. What's worse is when you're laying in bed and you get a real bad itch. I just start doing the like worm. Around, like a worm, worm and stuff. Start doing the yeah. worm. Yeah, just jump out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Flicking around. <laughs> jump out the window. <laughs> yeah. Could I mean, work. it would probably you wouldn't you wouldn't I mean, really yeah. focus on if it. If you die, you break your you, back and you lose you all the glass breaking. You're fine. Would scratch your back. Yeah, the glass. Yeah, <laughs> oh, they would true. do that. Come on now. You'd probably do a lot more than In that. The pain. Or you could do like my what my <clears throat> Arab father did. Every time I'd complain about something hurting, to your head? he would smack me somewhere else. No, he'd smack me somewhere else and be like. Now you're not thinking about it, but yeah. then I'd actually just be thinking about both. Yeah, well, now my and nose is broken. Parents' funny moments. Yeah, it sounds like yeah. some child abuse. I'm just thinking yeah. about my nose bleeding now. Yeah, now so, my nose is bleeding yeah. and my back itches. So. <laughs> Stop there. My out tooth here. is on the floor, but my back's okay. Isn't that what they used to do back in the olden olden days? Like if your foot was broken, they just like slap you upside the head twelve times. I think that w in order to like get you to forget about the pain, then. it has to be an even worse pain. Okay. Yeah. I don't so think if you, you have, have, like, have... your legs got cut off, I don't think I could just flick you in the what nose. What pain like, threshold oh, equals about it. back itch? I have a toothache, so they <laughs> shot out both my knees with 12 gauges. I bet it, there's, nice. there's tickling fetishes, I know that one. Like, there's yeah, fucking people that, ones. like, yeah, want to get, like, strapped down and they get tickled <clears> on their fucking <throat> armpits or feet or whatever the fuck it is. That's how you dislocate your shoulder. What? Getting, getting tickled? tickled? If you strap yourself down and then you convulse? Sounds really? like you have an exact oh. example you're thinking of. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've tested this on multiple times. So this one time. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I punched my ex in the face for tickling me once. Ever tell what? you that? Okay. I always forget that you have exes. <laughs> Do they all live in I always forget that you're not a fucking loser. <laughs> Just devoid Sorry. of any you female interaction his entire life. live in Texas? You mean to tell me you talked to a woman? <laughs> I did once. Texas. I'm, I'm extraordinarily ticklish, and she knew that. She would poke my armpit. One time I, I uncontrollably punched her in the face. Dude, I would tickle the shit out of you. I don't think that would hold up in court. <clears throat> yeah, if you were just like, she tickled me, so I punched her 16 times in the Did face. someone look up if anyone uncontrollably Has anyone been arrested for tickling Depends someone? Depends on what state you're in, I think. <laughs> well, I think if you're someone? tickling random women in a parking garage, then yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like sexual assault. <laughs> I'm just a tickle monster. I love that. The parking, the parking garage really add another layer yeah. to that. Yeah. <laughs> there was a lady that had two heads, and she was a school teacher. Oh, Wait, she had the smartest. Which one taught? Is this like twins, it, or it was the same person? Yeah, she, she had two heads. They were Siamese just twins. Like one of those and, Scandinavian uh, riddles. So is that one or two people? She was a school teacher. It is two people, I think. I think yeah, the other one... one I don't, I have so many questions about the Did lives one of, them teach, of Siamese uh, Spanish. I know, same. Did one of them teach Spanish and English. Like, th imagine it was only they had two heads, but they there was one of everything from the shoulders down. That's still two people, I guess. So yeah. right, it's that's literally usually just how it two is. It's yeah. it's two <laughs> heads connected at the shoulders. But what I want to like, I yeah, they're married. Excuse okay, me? which so, is weird. So if I think, the I think husband married is married some, to one oh, of them. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, oh, I thought you meant married to each other. I thought they were married to each other. No, no, no. I should, so they're they have married two different in husbands. Just, but I don't actually know because, like, imagine they're going on a date with one of them and one of them's all fucking horned up. They got to share a pussy. That's you have to be polygamous. You don't have a choice. So, like, literally, yeah. you do. Is there, I would sabotage yeah, every like, date and just start shitting. What if, just what tape if, the other mouth shut what, for the date. I don't like this yeah, guy. Piss my yeah. pants. Yeah, make the other one wear, like, <laughs> headphones and, like, like 
could, look away could or something. one knock the other but out. They're going to feel like, themselves getting pegged. They're like <laughs> this close to each other. Like if he kablams on her face, but he, she's getting fucking extra. She's could getting you some knock of the, the other one out though? Could you punch the Why other is it one? A comic they book? got that dog. Oh, yeah, true. Make one unconscious for the, like just knock her out. <laughs> is that legal? I'm, I yeah, but I think if, if one of them's going to I think if you're wait no. Like, right but that's what that. I don't. Masturbation's got to be brazen. One of one of them committed one, a crime. That's my question. They both go to jail. Oh, oh that's they, a good ass question. They, what if the they left shoot arm that one in the shot head. a guy, but the right arm <laughs> was like, no, him. don't do yeah, it. The, yeah, they were trying to they stop do. it, and they're like, okay, I feel like you they can't incarcerate the other head in justice. They could stage something. This is the most intense debate on the Goons podcast we've had in a long time. Yeah, no, this is. Hold on, this is. I gotta actually look up. It would fall under like martial law or something. I would just do, do say, they, do they <laughs> split the, the human in twain? <laughs> I remember, <laughs> I remember, I saw this TikTok of these Siamese like guys, and they were they were almost completely separate. They just shared like a couple of organs, but one of them was an aggressive Republican, <laughs> was oh. an aggressive liberal. Why'd you? Oh, why'd you have to, uh, argued all the fucking time. <laughs> I don't understand. They're this far away from this damn liberal. Shut up, ever. Jimmy. I don't know why you had to. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why you had to bring their race into it. I mean, mentioning that they're Siamese was just uncalled for. <laughs> Welcome back to the Goons Podcast. I'm McNasty here with Blarg Soup and Do. I don't know what they usually say in the intro, but today we have a guest, Yummy. There's, Last there's usually time, beatboxing. You yeah, gotta beatbox. You need, to, you need to drop a beat. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, that goes right. hard. I right, ain't dancing enough. for no fraud, boy. So where are you yeah. at right now? <laughs> don't pay no mind to him. <laughs> I'm just in my bedroom. <laughs> Yeah. Why are your sheets the, uh, like rusted? Yeah, who's the know. who's the fella on the mattress? <laughs> <laughs> For those on on Spotify, uh, soup is gonna f sound a little weird today, and uh, you don't need to know why. All right, he's I have monkeypox, bitch. That's yeah, all you need to know. He has monkeypox. He's wearing a mask to avoid giving monkeypox to other people. He's being quite courteous, actually. Um, I'll suck a bitch's dick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see here. If the purge were to happen tonight, what would you do? Probably kill you. Kill a I'm bitch. Like looking at you right now. I'd probably just hump something to death. You I'd do that anyway, purge it. or yeah, not. Yeah, you know, like if you grab now. like a local squirrel, nobody's gonna like stop you from fucking it to death. The squirrel would. Not really. You're not telling me something I don't already know, pal. Well, well, then why would you wait for the purge to fuck something? You know, till it till it's yeah. dead. It's a you new could, opportunity for You could hump whatever you want. There'd just be like on a new high. There'd just be like sirens going on while you're humping something. And like people being shot and stuff. <laughs> it's kind of badass though. It's like adrenaline pump and hump. Yeah, there's just Realistically like, though, <laughs> your, would, your neighbors get hump. tortured while you hump a squirrel to death. If the purge were to happen, I would hijack a plane. <laughs> and go and where? <laughs> yeah, where would you where would you fly that to, buddy? <laughs> I would fly it into Texas. Okay. The whole state? I'm in there. I would land it. I would not kaboom it, you know what I'm saying? I would okay, land yeah, in yeah. Texas. Yeah. And I would start digging. For what? For guns. They're buried all over Texas. Are, are they? Is that lore? They're, Yummy knows. That's why he's laughing. <laughs> he knows where they are. They, might, the they might be in like a doomsday prepper's backyard in a giant PVC Every, pipe, but... Every square foot of Texas has guns buried in it. You'd be lucky you're finding gold. I feel Remember like, the Alamo, bitches. I feel like you have a very tainted expectation of what's happening in Texas. From your I've been one, there, buddy. I know guns you have. Guns and oil. Every, every square foot, you just dig. There's guns and oil. <laughs> you dig everywhere. You're rich. There's gun and oil. <laughs> <laughs> Humanity has really overlooked digging holes. We haven't, actually. There's like a <laughs> lot of big holes. <laughs> There's the. We need the, to start okay. digging more shit. There's the honestly. super deep uh, borehole in Russia. That's a cool hole. I might need to go take I'm a. We need to take a actually. hammer and a nail and go right into his the front of his brain. <laughs> just hammer it in a little I'm bit. I'm a menace today, fellas. Yeah. Today. Can we do a segment? I'm gonna go take a what big. What kind poopy. of segment do you want? Okay. <laughs> yummy <laughs> leg. Has to go shit. Yummy leg. Oh Yummy's yeah, leg yummy. Segment. How's your leg? Well, I want to see first of all how it looks, and then also if it's midget. Sports related in injury. Midget leg. Oh, yeah, no feet. No feet in the frame. Oh, I hope you look got a, a little disappointed. Oh my <laughs> god, D dude! 
<laughs> oh my god. I can't. Bro, I can't you need to go to a doctor. So Are you straight, fucking kidding me? I can't straighten my leg. It looks so fat and big. <laughs> Dude. Dude, you look so meaty. That looks, yeah, look bro. That looks like a fucking <laughs> mutation. That looks like some dead space shit. Yeah, that looks like you got bit by a walker. Yeah, bro. My that does, that like looks fucked, dude. Your leg being like that looks so fucked. Put it down. <laughs> God, dude, I I'm made grandpa dude, break you're character. Upsetting, you're upsetting oh my, my grandpa. God. Put it down. I you're made him break my character. <laughs> he did. Yeah, he was. That's where he draws the line. I didn't even see line. shit like that. No, I'm <laughs> That's where he draws the line. Thick That's ass jungle rod. Thick ass legs with some rot. Dude, going that looks on. like gangrene. <laughs> like, what the f. <laughs> you, did you not see it on Twitter what happened to me? What did That's happen? To you? Yes, I did, but it's worse now. That I got hit by dude. a baseball. What, yeah, but like. Was there oh. like a video of you getting hit by we a baseball? We were just. Or like there's gonna be a video. Yeah, we were just like having fun, like messing around, whatever. And then I was like, Sue, coach pitching. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sue, buddy, don't try that. Do not try that. Do he's got not. it. He's a professional dipper. He can get anything in those lips. So yeah, he's like, keep going. Sue was drinking water. No, he did it. Mask. He did it. <laughs> I, see, I see it dripping on the Gamer sucks is delicious. Old man breath. <laughs> I hate it. I yeah, hate you it. know that shit smelled like two week old <sighs> shrimp. All, All right. right. Sorry, anyway. So I was just doing a little coach pitch. Boom. And then uh, the guy batting, just full. He played a lot of baseball in high school, apparently. And, like, yeah, that shit went fast right back at me. He was like, Dink! and it, like, line drive straight at, like, leg height. And I, like, jumped and turned. Luckily, it hit me in the calf because if that shit hit me in the shin, I think oh. I would have actually had to go to the hospital. Like, Bro, that would have been pretty so bad. bad. You would, or that, or you would have had like the worst shin splints ever. From like, if you had like a micro fracture or whatever, that would. You didn't fucking... get to see it, so I'll do it again. What happened? Yeah. Oh sure. my god. New I'm segment. New Close segment. your old I'm, eyes. I want to look. Ready, dude? Dude, look at this shit. Ready? Is that your? Oh! Oh, I pulled a muscle. Oh my god. Oh, that <laughs> fucking hurt. <laughs> dude, that hurt like shit. Hold what on. the fuck? That shit looks so <laughs> much worse. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh <laughs> Grandpa's damn. getting happy. Why is he spinning? Grandpa's liking him. Where this what is going? What am I supposed to be looking at right Bro. now? Yeah, I mean, do you have underwear Grandpa on under those? This. Otherwise, your balls are gonna be <laughs> wide on camera. Yeah, I, <laughs> damn. Were my balls out? I have underwear on. No, you're like out. Your They're out, buddy. Briefs. They're out, buddy. I like your little boxer briefs, boy. Is that from the, that's the, sh the baseball shit that happened to you? Yeah, the baseball meme. Damn. Yep. That shit looks brutal. I like, I like Dude, you need to segment. go to a hospital. What is up with I you think and I'm being okay. against hospitals? Me? I want to know. Yeah. <clears throat> you had bronchitis. You I grew up without a father. Me and... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh at that. Is that related or you just want to talk about that? <laughs> yeah. Guys, listen, I need help, please. <laughs> I've been avoiding therapy. You didn't want to hang out with me in in, uh, in Texas because no, you fucking yeah. I had bronchitis. Listen, I have a problem. And you didn't go to a doctor. No, I don't. I don't. I don't go to the doc. I need to go to the doctor. I have an issue. Are you like a like Christian scientist or whatever the fuck they are? <laughs> Scientology. Oh, no. Scientology. Like like Tom yeah. Cruise? No. Yep. No, I believe in the doctor fully. Uh, I just don't have. Well, they healthcare. exist either way, buddy. Yeah. I, I don't believe in you. doctors. They're not real. <laughs> They're like Santa Claus. They come in the middle of the night and poke you with shit. I saw a Reddit thread that I thought would potentially be funny seeing as how long we've done YouTube and um, I know Soup did sports where you hear a lot of funny insults and shit. What is the... Have you guys heard like an insult that anybody's ever said around you or to you or to somebody else that you've just like not been able to forget? Someone called me... The words. <laughs> words? <laughs> There's more than one? <laughs> he literally started that sentence and had no idea where it was going, and it went nowhere. <laughs> no, someone called me a pumpkin eater one time. I'll never forget that. <clears throat> pumpkin eater? It's all right. It's like, okay, you fucking eggplant fucker. <laughs> Those are the ones that hurt the worst. Like, if somebody just called me, like, a fucking piece of shit, I'm like, whatever. Yeah. You Skittles enjoyer? <laughs> How does oh that God. mean? <laughs> I uh, when I when I played hockey, uh, there was a girl on the other team, and one of my buddies was in front of the net, and she came and like cross checked him in the back, and he turned around and was like gonna swing on her, and then he's like, "Oh, it's a girl. I don't really want to swing," and she's like, "Oh, you just didn't want to mess up my face because you think I'm hot," 
And he's like, shut up, your fucking trainer wouldn't even molest you. And I oh, fucking... Damn. <laughs> Dude, damn. I, I had to get off. I was fucking dying. I, I literally just like, I, I was only like 30 seconds into my shift, but I had to get off. I was fucking crying. Just like, I don't know. Just, it was so quick and unexpected. I just was not ready to hear that. I just thought he was going to be like, yeah, whatever. Fuck you, bitch. And like, you know, whatever. But he just <clears throat> had that man. fucking locked and loaded Brutal. on her. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I, I use that, that one. one. <laughs> I, had, I like, I, it's such a weird, like, niche fucking insult where it's like, when would you even have the chance to, like, use that just, other than that specific incident? You so can just say I, that yeah. to random people. Doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> your trainer wouldn't molest you. So I don't have a trainer. I don't, yeah, I don't know. It was like a very specific insult that was just I I fucking lost it. I was I had a good hee haw. Good that one. one. You're so ugly, Grandpa might just do it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared shitless currently. <laughs> I think we need to get rid of that fella. Welcome back to the. Welcome back to the. Hey. Welcome back to the poo. Welcome back to the pee. Welcome back to the poo. Oh, yeah, back to the show. Oh, back to the goons. Goons, 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 goons. Goons, 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 goons. Not the best drop. Goons, 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 crazy for you, huh? I think they just got like honked at by somebody in a dude. Somebody, okay, did you guys get the DM of the guy that rolled his car listening to the goons? <laughs> no, what did you know? Dude, there was a guy that DM'd me the other day on Instagram, and he took he was like taking multiple pictures of his car rolled over. And he said he was listening to the Goons podcast when that happened. Let's Damn, go. Be That's fucking awesome. Yeah. This whole car and roll it over. We are yes. almost send, the last thing we heard the pictures, on this planet. Send the pictures to us before you send it to insurance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're the first people yeah, you really. should tell, not your insurance. Yeah. <laughs> we need to know. We'll let all state know what happened. It's all yeah, good. We'll, we'll text them. We'll, send uh, them. We'll, we'll let them know. No, I was thinking about the bitch that got her octopus butthole tattoo. Like, there's yeah, no way she yeah, okay. wasn't like sharting all over that dude the whole time. Well, there's like, yeah, that probably took like multiple days of multiple yeah. sessions of tattoos. There's no way one didn't squeak out in those like three days. Hell no. I'm sure the tattoo artist probably loved it, so. Yeah, well. maybe. I don't, know, I, don't know. I don't know if he, I mean, I guess if he's, if he's tattooing around a butthole, like he knows what he's getting into. Yeah. Like sure if you're wrestling, first radio. Yeah, you're wrestling that bear. You got to be ready when it wants yeah. berries. <laughs> When it wants what? what a great analogy. Like yeah, that was like a southern <laughs> analogy right there. Wow. <laughs> it rests on berry, baby. It rests on berries. <laughs> yeah. When you're wrestling the pooter. Don't be surprised when the scooter comes out to pooter. No. Man. So where are you going uh, next? Time out. And then uh, what else happened? I got farted on by a homeless guy. Um, Hell yeah. That was cool. I, I, what, he like push his ap ass up against did he fart? fart? Did he fart? Yeah, did he fart? Did he fart? How much fart? What was the volume of the air of his did fart? Did I tell you guys this already fart? when, I was, when I, was, I was drunk? I, I know I told somebody. I couldn't remember if it was one of you guys no. I called told that I got farted on. But uh, <clears> yeah, so I I was in uh, I was at a bar called Bar Prequel in Toronto. And bar it's Preet? on Bar Prequel. Oh. It's on Queen Street, which is like a very popular area of Toronto and has just like a mix of fucking everything. Um, mm -hmm. So there's like a bunch of clubs, bars, and also homeless people standing outside said clubs and bars. So I left the bar right away. There's two homeless people I had interactions with that night. Uh, first one, I walk out and this dude just goes, who are you? I was like, I'm Matt. Who are you? And he said, I'm John. I said, okay, hi, John. And he was like very clearly homeless and drunk as fuck. Um, and he's like, I'm Portuguese. I said, okay. Dude, and then he gave me a hug. And I walked away, and I didn't really know what to do with that. <laughs> kind of sat with me for a little bit. But for some reason, I couldn't get an Uber uh, to where I was staying from there. I don't know why. I just could not find fuck? an Uber. So it's I was Toronto? like, yeah, so I don't know. It was just weird. It was like 2 a.m. to be fair. So I don't know. It was weird. But I was like, fuck it. I'll walk for like, it was like an hour and five <clears> minute walk 
back to where I need to get. I was like, I'm just going to walk half an hour and then I'll call another Uber because like in half an hour, the way I was walking was a lot more populated. Um, so I started walking down the street and normally if I'm by myself and there is a, a homeless guy trying to interact with me, that's being like kind of aggressive. I will just completely ignore it because that's what you should do. They'll give up and go away and go bother somebody else, especially in a mm-hmm. big city. But he was walking next to me. I had my AirPods in. He's walking next to me going, hey, hi, hey, I know you can hear me. Hi. And like waving like his arm in front of me. He probably followed me for like two minutes straight. I was Jesus. like, I was like, fuck me. Okay. So I took out my AirPod and I was like, yeah, hi, what's, what's up? What do you need? And he's just like, do you have any money? I was like, no, I don't have anything. And he walked close to me, just fucking beefed out of his ass and walked away. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, it was you deserve thunderous. This. <laughs> it was like thunderous. It wasn't, quarter, just, man. It wasn't just like a little like, oh. it was like, you know, when, you know, when you're like sick, like your stomach really fucking hurts. Yeah. Like you got food point. It was like that. Like it oh was deep rooted. Like, 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 in, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like his cheeks were like. <laughs> yeah, like a fucking yeah, motorboat, like an ass oh. motorboat. And I was just like perplexed by this. I, I I literally just stood there stunned for a moment as he just walked away to go harass the next person for money, probably loading up another fart. Just what if that ready fart stunned you and he just like you check yeah. your wallet and there's like a twenty <laughs> minutes yeah. from your wallet? <laughs> it's like the world's best pickpocket. <laughs> You're like stuck in a fart cloud there, just like yeah, you just like <laughs> lost a chunk of skill. time in your life. Put all remember. the skill points into that. That's wild. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was so. It was like one of the most bizarre interactions I've ever had with like a crackhead drawing. It was just like, all right, well, I'm dude. gonna call an Uber now. And luckily, I called an Uber, and it was picked me up like right away. And it's like I'm, I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm not gonna walk down Queen Street at 2 a.m. ever again. It's not happening. Christ. Yeah, that was that was fucking <clears throat> due to ass. You know, you, you gotta accept that it's already gone, and it makes gambling a lot more fun. True. Exactly. I went to Encore Casino in Boston. Dressed up as a fucking hot dog, and I won a thousand dollars. One of the highlights of my life. Hell like when yeah. I die, and all the fucking DMT or whatever's in your brain is like flushing out, and you see your life flash before your eyes right before you uh, gonna see pass hot dog away. With $1, I'm gonna see myself dressed as a hot dog, winning a thousand dollars. I'm uh, ever gonna remember. Do you guys ever have the dealers? Because I look young as hell. I lo- I'm like 12 in the face. Yeah. And like, do you ever have the dealers ask you like, what do you do for a living? Like, why are you here? Because I always play high limit. Uh, like blackjack. Oh hell yeah! So I like I went there yesterday, and and every single time. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm shocked. <laughs> Try to hold just... your surprise. Try to hold your surprise. But uh, no, but like uh, every uh, without fail, every time I go into High Limit, the dealers are always like, "So what do you, what do you do for a living?" I sell drugs. You just tell me you're a little porn yeah. star. You're like, you should be like, hey, have you ever seen that ad of the guy getting like helicoptered above the six foot eight woman? I'm the guy. <laughs> That's I, uh, me. I, I run guns for ISIS. Uh, go ahead and deal for me. <laughs> uh, I'm the one that sells ISIS all their beat down Toyota pickup trucks. <laughs> you know the, uh, the, the uh, what's that guy's name that we traded the lesbian for? The dealer of oh, death uh, or whatever? Yeah. Uh, Merchant of Death. Yeah, the Merchant, the Merchant of, death. of Death. Yeah, he's my His uncle. John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we should start um, telling people, like, when people ask about our jobs, we should just try and give them the worst answer ever, like the most evil villain type job ever. I would yeah, rather do FBI that. FBI investigates you. Like, I prevent water getting to Africa. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> well, it's because then it's almost I like I shoot an, down the little... planes that send the food. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually caused all droughts in Africa. Yeah. I feel like that's actually somehow not as bad as being a YouTuber explaining a YouTuber. Yeah, for real. We, there was a police officer guarding it, and we went up and we, we asked him if he knew where any pizza was, and he's like, oh, I don't know. I'm like, I'm just stationed here. I live like up north, so I don't know this area. And as soon as he finishes his sentence, there's this row of porta potties. One of them like bursts open, like the intro to fucking Shrek One. And this homeless <laughs> guy, this homeless guy stumbles out, just fucking high as shit on something. And he's like, I know exactly where pizza is. And he just pointed there. He's like, Walk that way, about 10 minutes, best pizza of your life. We're like, All right. Let her his pants we, are still we, around we, his we, legs and shit. We ended, we ended our cut scene with him. <laughs> And, uh, and we, 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 we wandered that way for 10 minutes, and, and lo and behold, we we ended up at a really good pizza place that was right by our hotel. So the homeless hey. man actually knew what Shout was Shout out up. homeless guy. Wow. Shout out homeless Yeah, no, guy. dude, it was so funny. Though, like, nobody knew that guy was in there. Like, the cop, he said he's been standing there for, like, hours. Nobody. <laughs> 
Nobody was Have around that area. Like, just shit. Like, like pizza was like his fucking code word to just like boost open the door. <laughs> he's awesome. like, he's like, Duro, his like face was all like cut up and shit. Like he, he has been having a bender. Like this man was probably been on heroin for the last two weeks straight. Didn't even Bro know where he was. spawned in when he heard pizza. <laughs> yeah, literally <laughs> spawned in. Just burst down the door. I was like, it was, well, dude, it was that, so what's the RNG funny. of that? Of like a, a good, helpful, homeless crackhead. Dude, that's, that's, what that's I'm hard saying. to come by. That's good that's RNG. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Was, uh, we might have compared to your last there. story where the guy just fucking sharted on yeah, you and walked away. Yeah, fucking shit his pants and walked away. <laughs> there was uh, there was a Two lot times. of them though there that were actually quite nice. There was one. Uh, fuck, I forget his name. He told me it. I don't know, bad person, whatever. And he only shit. had one. He only had one tooth left. <laughs> he only had his front left. Oh, Maybe the, that was his these, name. These fellas. One no, tooth. It was like, tooth no, no, no. He, he had like a little. He had like a normal name. Like it was like fuck. It, it started with a J. I don't remember. It was like James or something like that. But Johannesburg. Like whatever. Um, you're on me. Jo Johannesburg. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like the most difficult J name ever. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh. Yeah. He was talking to us and he's just like, we're like, oh, do you want like food? Because we we're just like, I only had a twenty on me. I didn't really want to give a random guy, uh, twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. He's yeah. like, no, I, I don't want food. I'm trying to buy drugs. And I was like, oh, okay. Just give, fucking gave him a 20. I think Grizzy <laughs> gave him a 10. I think John gave him some money. We're now just that, like, I that, that I can That guy. That I can support. You guys probably doomed that, man. That man's well, probably like, dead. Probably <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. Well, I was like, yeah, man, you know, go get some meth, get rid of that last tooth, and we'll, you know, we're good. <laughs> and we just got oh our my Uber. God. He walked away under the underpass, and our that Uber man actually went dead, that Blart. way, and he was just, he was walking away. He was good. But yeah, we, we, gave, yeah. Him, we gave him You definitely got that guy $40 worth of fentanyl. Dude, <laughs> he's drive back it. by. He's like split in half in the middle of the road. <laughs> <laughs> he like five from minutes the later, <laughs> he's mean, hit by gotta, a train. He died immediately <laughs> after getting the money. Yeah, if you wouldn't give him the money, he wouldn't have walked over the train tracks and got I got the guy. The honesty, though, guy said, "No, I don't want food, bro. Just money." <clears throat> It's like, all right, well, then here's yeah. some fucking money. Go get some crack, big man. Go get rid of that last little yeah. snaggle tooth. You, listen, we saved him money. He doesn't need dental care anymore. The teeth are gone. True. He's okay. fine. We saved him money in the long run. So you girl, you're girl, ball, so girl bossing and gaslighting. I you killing a crackhead right now. <laughs> and gaslighted that man to his death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 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 I'm going to make the dip, 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 All right. That was all right. That was okay. I, 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 I really, really wish they you guys they could dance? see the... We, yeah, we danced. Yeah, it was, was weird. Say, I was just like, I'm doing it, but you guys are frozen and Mash is sitting there. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm used to I'm seeing you and Dude like going crazy. I'm making a YouTube yeah, on, thumbnail. On Discord, I'm still is... like hunched over. Yeah, you were literally just leaned over a fucking chair in front of you for us. Yeah. I don't know why it's so laggy. I hope my hotspot doesn't doesn't run out, dude. I, we literally, I have my webcam duct taped to the <laughs> ceiling. It's flipped upside down, and I had to flip it over. Yeah, in OBS. You had to flip the image. Yeah, and uh, we're we, going the speed limit. Yeah, <laughs> I believe that fully. Yeah, I really wish you guys could see vehicles going by us. I, Maybe yeah, you're just in the, the void. End, still working. We can, oh like, wait, unduct tape it. <laughs> yeah. Discord updated. Now you are both to see. You look like you're on a yeah. bus going to school. Like like eight thirty on a Monday oh, wait, morning. You look so sad. This eighteen wheeler. Oh God. Oh God, we're gonna oh, lag. No. Oh, oh my God. God. The eighteen wheeler. See us? I, it just looks like we're on a boat. Yeah. Can we legally walk in the gas station like this? I mean, we could carry the whole thing legally. The gas station. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna carry a lap, laptop and fucking microphone and. Uh, we could. We you, can, uh, Alabama has to? like the most niche weird Let's laws ever. There's no podcast yeah. in the gas station. Hey, no I audio it, mixtures in the gas station. To boy. I hope it just updates <laughs> while you guys are in the gas station, and then we get that image. Because right now, you guys yeah. are just on the highway still. Shit. All right, the, this recording is gonna be fucking stellar. Yeah. I honestly, <laughs> oh my god, I'm excited to see the recording know, because I'm what's gonna, going on visually right now is just not satisfying. This is gonna, this is gonna be the, so, dude, the first podcast you, that, episode I ever why. watch of ours. <laughs> I need you. Really, to, I watch all of them. No way. I like the to go back and like listen to the weird shit we said. Open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm covering the webcam. Oh, we have confidential goods in this. In this year, ow, fuck it. Uh -oh. God. Please I open. I know. I know that means. I'm just, just <laughs> listening to this. Pox. Like we don't see any of this, but just listening yeah. to this interaction is fucking insane. Are we sharing? It's like pre-webcam podcast. Dude, I wish you could, dude. Show this. 
<laughs> we are professional recorder. Yes. I don't know about professional. This is pretty professional. This is I'm how the pros a fucking, do it. I'm doing a podcast in my fucking Ricard, next week. Look at this. <laughs> Mix it up. This is what they call a portable video camera. <laughs> this is one of them VHS things. This is Are you guys still on here? Yeah, I kind of. Yep. You guys aren't. You guys have just. Oh my god! Oh. It actually, it actually just gave up on putting you guys in the Discord. Like, yeah. it has not updated in like fucking ten minutes. Dude, look at this. They were gonna think they were trying to like kill someone. Should we actually go in? Yeah, we should. I'm the one holding all the equipment, dude. <laughs> oh, that's so loud. Bruh, <laughs> I can't even like listen to that. Audio quality got terrible. <laughs> I don't know where. <laughs> Went back to like 1980s we radio know, host. Wow. Now we're good. We're gonna buy some food here in the gas station. We're gonna get a. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna get some chicken. Yeah. Cause I'm nice. hungry. Enjoy chicken. Enjoy chicken time. This is insanity. Mm. I am very excited to see this podcast episode. Can I get the? No way. Let me get the number two box. Yeah. No way. He's actually. Are you actually ordering just, food? Yes. <laughs> this fucking episode is uh, so <laughs> just probably, a, I guess a small. They probably think he's what the fuck is ordering oh, food? You can't even see him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they probably think uh, he's like a truck fries right now. <laughs> and mac and cheese. <laughs> this is so stupid. Yes. <laughs> My brain just came to this I'm realization that this is fucking terrible. <laughs> This is, I, I don't know if this is either uh, our no, worst you. or best podcast it's ever. It's somewhere in between there. Uh, Same thing for him. If if it had if yes. it had due, it would be I our best. I just want two pieces. Of yeah, because then like That's even when they're like fucking lagging out or distracting okay. me, you know, dude could talk. But what are me and you gonna talk about? What's that? Um, I'm kind of just I'm kind of just letting them do their thing because I know that we're gonna want to watch it later. Them just ordering fucking chicken yeah. right now on the podcast. Uh, we're yeah. filming a video. For YouTube, yeah. <laughs> you guys want to say hey? Dude, we're still in the car on the. Yeah, yeah you updated. guys haven't even updated. You guys are still in the Sorry. fucking interstate. It's been a, a, like a solid ten minutes. All right. Yes, that's all. This laptop all right. is about twenty-five pounds. I was <laughs> joking about the ten-minute thing earlier, like over-exaggerating, but I think it's no. It's been actually 10 been straight. ten minutes. Yeah. I don't, I don't need a receipt. <laughs> the, the ghost, 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 ghost. Yeah. We're here to solve a mystery. <laughs> you too, you thank too. You. <clears throat> I hear you. This is this has been an experience. This was the first episode of Gas Station Food Review. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if the, the viewers don't want that back, so you guys might have to do it again on the way home. Bro, yeah. I'm, I oh want you guys God. to know. Can you guys hear me good? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. can hear you guys fine. I'm, I'm out here in sandals with no socks, holding a fucking laptop <laughs> and an audio mixer, walking through the parking lot right now with a headset on. Brady, you are you, are you are you're holding the UX2? <laughs> yeah, I'm holding the UX2 and the laptop. He's just, <laughs> That's he's just fucking smiling, holding the webcam. I'm holding he's the chicken just... tenders, bitch. <laughs> what do you mean? I got, I'm, I'm carrying the food. This laptop is about 42 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, this is the stupidest shit I've ever we done. We have to in my save life. the recording. Don't let this the battery. This is the dumbest die. shit I've ever done. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta like Don't make let sure the battery that die. If the battery it's dies, locked. bro. You gotta tease I love it because people message me like, "Oh, I lost. I, I, I missed the drop. I didn't get it." It's like, yeah, no, we, we haven't dropped anything. It's been <laughs> your mama dropped you at birth. Is what happened? <laughs> yeah, my balls dropped when I was two. Two? Yeah. Just big old nuts on a two. Uh, not bad. I started walking, they just boom. Not bad. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Hey, mommy, where's my milkies, mommy? <laughs> if my baby talked like that, I'd swing it by the. Oh, I, dude, I would take it to the government. I would take it to like Area take Fifty One. To the government. Like my baby's football. got big nuts. I don't know what to do with it. Take care of this. They'd probably do an experiment on it. They would keep it. Like, oh yeah. They would want to question. What it. would it look like at like eighteen? Just like double puberty. Be an Olympic old. athlete. It'd have like white hair in its beard. Only the nuts grow. Nothing else. <laughs> just still a bit. It's like Hasbulla, but it's just dick and balls decided to grow. <laughs> I went to LA for the first time in probably I think it was twenty eighteen or seventeen. Um 
and obviously i was like a super small content creator at the time so i didn't really know like a ton of people and it was my first time meeting a bunch of content creators that were out there at the time um but i went to go visit one specifically and i stayed at his apartment and when i got there he was like hey do you want to smoke as and i normally don't smoke like i don't know i just weed's not really for me yeah but i was like screw it i'm in la why not i'll i'll try it here and uh i the initial problem was he gave me a bong and i've never used a bong in my life what are you what are you doing with your I don't know. chin there that's freaking me out um <laughs> but he gave me a bong and i've never used a bong in my life so i didn't know you weren't supposed to do the whole bowl and one like one big toe. Oh, man. <laughs> so I took, I took I the whole bowl. You were supposed to eat the weed. I just ate all of it. <laughs> no. I'm like drinking the, the, the bong water. Yeah. yeah I'm, just, I, bro, I'm not so even high. Just, just tastes gross. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I didn't know you weren't supposed to take the whole bowl in one hoot. Um, so I did that after not eating or drinking uh, or like anything for the last little while because I was on a plane and whatever. I just, I don't know, wasn't thinking. Um, so we went to a Korean barbecue place and I don't remember getting to the car. I just remember being on his beanbag chair after uh, smoking and not being able to move. Were you already drunk um, or were you sober? No, I was completely sober. Oh, and okay. then just something, something I'll explain. You'll, there's additional context later, but I'll save that for the end. Um, so yeah, couldn't move in the beanbag chair, completely paralyzed. Like I could only feel my eyes. That was the only part of me I felt like That's I could That's the part move. you shouldn't feel. <laughs> yeah, so I was really just like sitting there in the my chair doing like, doing like darting lizard eye movements when they're just like freaking yeah. out. Um, so they, they, we got to a Korean barbecue place. Again, I don't remember how. I have no idea if I was put in a car or an Uber, whatever, no clue. I went in. Um, this YouTuber's girlfriend tried to feed me a piece of beef. I chewed on it for about 20 minutes or so, <laughs> and my mouth was too dry to swallow, so I just was sitting there chewing beef, and I spit the beef into my hand, slammed it against the table, grabbed my wallet, put $100 on the table, walked out. None of them thought, should we go see where he's going, or like check on him or something, or you know, anything. They just said, alright, see ya, and I walked outside, and I tried to find a bench. I couldn't find a bench anywhere. So I went to the parking lot next to this restaurant. Don't know if it was a restaurant's parking lot. Don't know, like, what it was. But I just started opening car doors. And Damn. eventually <laughs> one one car opened. Um, so I got in the passenger seat and I went to bed there. <laughs> and I to fell asleep. What the I fell fuck? Asleep. <laughs> it sounds like, like you were reading one of your dreams from your phone. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I fell asleep. This was a genuine thing that happened. Like if random people's ever, cars? D random nobody th i didn't oh know what was my going on God. <laughs> and i sat in the car Not and i bad. felt all my like extremities get cold and my brain f actually felt like it was like melting like everything was painful <laughs> and not good at all like i could feel a lot of things happening that shouldn't be sure uh, my heart rate <laughs> <laughs> listen there's there's additional context there's additional context uh i can't so wait. i was sitting there and I felt like my heart was beating like literally once a minute. Like I, I know obviously it wasn't, yeah. but I could not feel it going at all. And I felt freezing cold and I was just like, I'm just going to go to bed. Everything will be okay when I wake up. I don't know. I woke up about, I don't know, probably an hour or so later. No idea how they found me. No idea how they got me back, but I woke up and I was in a beanbag chair again. The one from earlier, I made it back to their apartment somehow. And you just I, when I woke up, no, when I woke up, there was a bowl of ramen in my hand. Oh, the ramen like, they did just it. Placed gotcha. it oh, <laughs> they just placed it. They just placed <laughs> it no there. Ramen. Yeah. So epidemic they, right they now. just that put the whole ramen, ramen in my hand DMT. while I was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I could not even eat that. Like, my stomach just could not handle anything at all. And yeah. I still felt, like, really fucked up. Like, I could just not process anything with my brain at all. Like, if you asked me 2 plus 2 at that time, I genuinely, like, would have struggled with that. It would have took me a while to figure that out. I just had no idea about anything. And then Smitty calls me. He's like, hey, um, you there's, a, a, <laughs> <laughs> there's a party hosted by 3 Black Dot right now in L.A. It was like, I forget what it was during, TwitchCon or something. <clears throat> He's like, you want to come by? Like, you know, Vanoss is there and uh, basically I do work, Wildcat, whatever. A bunch of people that you watch. And I was like, yeah, I'd love to. So I got in an Uber. And I remember this part. I got in the Uber. got there. Walked in, 
Luke was one of the co-owners of 3BD at the time. I said hi. Uh, whatever. I was I was all professional, normal for him. And then I saw Vanos and Wildcat having a conversation. And at that point, I met the Wildcat once at Boston. So I was like, oh, I'm going to go say hi. And again, I just didn't know what was going on. I couldn't like process anything. So I go up and I'm like, Tyler, what's up? Hey, man. And then I was like, oh, Evan, uh, you know, it's nice to meet you. I'm a huge fan of your content, whatever. Uh, it's good to actually meet you in person. Nothing too weird there. But then they started chatting again. And to me, it felt like maybe 10 seconds I was there. But Tyler's like, dude, you stared at me and Evan having a conversation <laughs> for like 20 minutes straight without <laughs> saying a word, without like interacting, literally just <laughs> while they talked. <laughs> just didn't say oh. anything. No idea. I, to me, what nothing was happening. I was just listening like, yeah, okay. Like in my head, I was like, yeah, right, you know, okay, oh, yeah, interesting. And in reality, just <laughs> staring. Just not, saying nothing at all. And, Somebody please uh, screenshot that and post it on Twitter. Just <laughs> the and then, uh, but uh, I made it worse for myself because I went upstairs and Luke is like, we're doing shots. And I just meandered my way up there. I'm pretty sure it's for like 3BD like friends and employees. And I was just some guy and I was like, yeah. And I took a shot of whiskey from the table, took it. And I was immediately just you stared at them for destroyed. an hour. Destroyed. Just destroyed. <laughs> no, I, at that point I was like, I'm actually going to throw up immediately. So I just got an Uber and went home. But the little cap to this story, um, I went home and I talked to my doctor about it like months later. And I was like, hey, clearly I'm still here. So like it couldn't have been anything that bad. But do you have any idea like what would have caused this? And I explained the symptoms and stuff. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to be honest. It sounds a little bit like light fentanyl poisoning, but there's no way to know. Oh, damn. I was like, oh, okay. Well, that's that's really fucked up. Like. I could have potentially gone in that car and just died. That just is wild. Gone to bed. Can you lace yeah. weed with so, fentanyl? Well, I guess you can. Like, you could, yeah. Fentanyl can be so literally small, like, like anything. Yeah. Um, but like, so he doesn't know for sure. So it's like, it was literally just like he threw a dart at a dartboard and, yeah. you know, was like, it could have been really a lot of things, but he's like, that's what it kind of sounds like. And obviously given the context of like, there being kind of an issue with fentanyl making its way into drugs, but like, because the problem was, when I was, was the this? only one that smoked uh, 2017 or 18. Oh. Was weed um, legal was in LA at the time? I don't I think, think so. Fent yeah. Fentanyl really hasn't been a massive problem since like the past like year or two, right? <clears throat> I'm not sure. I, I I might just be, now that it's like popularized because it's legal in a lot more places, yeah. might be a problem people that talk about nuts, more. Though. I don't know because I was the only one that smoked out of that bowl. So nobody else would have got that. Mm. Bro, we stayed in that hotel. Oh my God. That dude. Oh, that I forgot fucking, about that. That fucking dude at the hotel pissed me the fuck off. Oh, my God. <laughs> so we, we we're trying to check into this hotel. I'm not going to say the name of the company because I actually like the company. Yeah, it looked like we, the guy that robbed my house working behind the desk. So we're checking in at what, like 4 in the morning, 5 in the morning? Yeah. Something like that. It's really, really Six, early. Maybe. Yeah, and we I, I booked the hotel room for the for like that day plus the the you know checking out that morning so I'd, i had yeah. already paid for the hotel room we just showed up late and as soon as we get there like we're very obviously fucking dead because we had driven all goddamn day across yeah. the country 12 to hour get there. driving is a yeah. lot well six 16 yeah. 16 and a half oh, 17 man. hours that's probably a lot on the road. of driving probably 17 that's hours like, on the that's road. exhausting and we get there and i go up to the counter and i'm like hey we need to check in the guy's like, all right, I'm charging y'all a late fee. Wait, what? I was like, a late, what? Like a late fee? How do you That's get a like, late fee for showing up to your, it doesn't matter if you show up late, you have the hotel room. Yeah, what? That, yeah. I don't I, understand I, I, that was like, I was like, what? And his, dude, his eyeballs were about this fucking big around. I mean, he just looked like he was cracked <laughs> the fuck he out. He did, I'm telling you. He, that dude and I, and like and the fact he was that was it, a fake late fee. He just wanted to buy crack with yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. I was like, late fee? What? And I don't even know what all I said to the guy, but I was just like, that doesn't make any sense. And what the fuck else did I say to him? I, I can't remember. You said, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, Ethan was like, I was like a late fee or whatever. And then Ethan was like, because we tried to call the hotel. I called we him tried three to call times him. on the way. Yeah, we called the hotel three times on the way there. And Ethan was like, did you miss all the phone calls or whatever? We tried to call He's you. He's like, what time were they? I'm like, pull out my phone. I'm like, 4.52, 3.51, like 3.30, yeah. like all this shit. 
Yeah, and I was like, does that ring a bell? And I was like, didn't think so. He was like, well, I wasn't working then. I was like, yeah, I didn't ask. Check us in, please. <laughs> he really did. Yeah, you did an IRL didn't ask to somebody? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Bro, I don't the didn't ask. Yeah, plus ratio, we bitch. <laughs> we stood there for like five minutes while he's just typing. Yeah, he's just like sitting at his computer, like doesn't say a word to us for like five minutes. And I'm just like looking back at everyone like, dude, oh my God, this is unbelievable. It's like five in the fucking morning. And I pull my phone out and I turn <clears> fucking <throat> heavy metal crank it all the way up and set it on the fucking desk <laughs> and I start fucking air drumming. <laughs> Are you like, like frying on no sleep or what? <laughs> huh? Are you like frying that- on no sleep? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I was playing Back to the Primitive by Soulfly Max Volume on my iPhone. <laughs> fucking air drumming along while this guy's like trying to check us in. <laughs> And, and dude, the whole time this guy's checking us in, his eyes are like fucking Not massive. Blinking. Yeah, yeah and, and he hands us the hotel card, and I was like, "Try fucking blinking every once in a while." God damn! And I took the card from him and went to my room, <laughs> and I was like, "Well, I won't be sleeping tonight because he's gonna come kill us." <laughs> yeah, he's gonna come <laughs> in his room and kill us. In I'm actually goons. disassociating really hard. I don't know where Image. I am. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking I at myself no on the screen right now, and I feel like I'm just looking at a whole different person. I don't know who that is. Uh, I'm yeah. buying it's silver or sad, I'm actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of fucked it's up. It's really sad. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is our early stage, like, dementia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just walk by a mirror and get freaked out. Oh, fuck. You're just, like, recording like one day. You're just, like, thinking you're watching a YouTube video. <laughs> just watching yourself on OBS. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like, These guys are really I unfunny. F- kink. <laughs> you never run out of content if you have dementia. Just record yourself at all times. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys think we'll still be doing YouTube when we have dementia? I hope so. I mean, that's the I plan. Hope, yeah, I mean, well, like, hopefully we'll be able to stumble back into our bits. Like, like we're, we're, we're going to be 86, yeah. and I'm going to hear you yell, so if I pull hard enough, and it's going to be funny again. <laughs> it'll be incredible. I need an x-ray, bitch. <laughs> What'll be really funny is the people that make compilations of us making dementia jokes and then having dementia. us actually having dementia and, and us being thinking confused. it's the first time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or watching back an old video and forgetting it was you and then you slowly get sad and decay and start crying live. Then you pee your pants old... and forget about it. And then you <laughs> eat the pants okay. and fall asleep. <laughs> and then you do more applesauce all over you. And end up in the hospital. You chew little aspirin. Do a little dance. <laughs> it's so sad. Do a little aspirin. It's so, fu- it's so fucked dance. up. Getting old fucking sucks. When I went to the basketball game, I saw the Phoenix Suns. Guess what their mascot is? Just ju- judging by the name. A big gamer tub. A big fucking sun. A titty. A titty. Uh, one titty. A big fiery bird. Big anime a basketball. Wife, bitch. Okay, it's a gorilla. The Mona Lisa. Actually, I don't. The I don't know Suns why it's a, a gorilla. gorilla. <laughs> it's a gorilla. Hold That's on, let awesome. me show you. I gotta look at the picture now. Let me show. No, hold on, hold on. Let me show you the video right. of him. Oh, I got two videos. There's one of him break dancing in the middle of the stadium with a bunch of disco lights around him. Okay, I just, like that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd love it. It actually seemed like a shit post. Like it felt like. Sounds like a it felt like somebody was happening. I I couldn't believe my eyes. It was just incredible. Was there ten minutes? That sounds incredible. Place? Dude, if I went to an NBA game and a fucking gorilla was like disco Hold dancing on. on the court, I would shit myself. <laughs> Hold on, this is uh, I'll show you fucking him doing die. a front flip. Why can I? Not? Hold on, there we go. Monkey flip. Yeah, he did a uh, he did a front flip into a dunk. Like there's just this gorilla running towards a trampoline with a basketball, <laughs> and he that's just does a front awesome. That's actually impressive in a fucking gorilla suit. Them. That's what I'm saying. I was I was shocked by it. It, it didn't feel real. I th- I thought it was like some random guy they just had coming out, but no, that's their that's their mascot is a a gorilla. There you go. Why aren't they called mortal? the Phoenix Gorillas? I don't know. They're that's just called racist. the Phoenix Suns, and then they couldn't think of anything else, so they just got a gorilla. I guess I have no idea why. I put it in cancer. So if you want to watch a gorilla do a front flip, maybe a, for- a sun mascot would just do. be too goofy. I guess so, but they a gorilla, a gorilla? isn't <laughs> <It's> a gorilla. <laughs> Disco yeah. dancing, doing backflip. I got I mean, a poot. Got <laughs> short as fuck. Dude, all day I've had these poots. I don't know if they're turds or not. I, okay, I that wasn't. I've never heard someone describe my life more wow. perfectly. That was loud. And 
Have you ever Dude, taken my, soap? My, my butthole's like right on the edge of the couch. That was perfect. It's just brave to push that, that stinks. hard. That stinks. Mm. I ain't that brave. God, please Ethan, let me I'm sorry. Is the leather on that couch. I'm not sorry. Yeah, Joe's on, on that farmland right now. Fuck. I'm I hope sure that goes that right up your nostrils. I'm, I'm trying to not breathe in my nose right now. <laughs> I just shit myself a little bit. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Have you guys ever like sh- taken a big shit and then right after a mm-hmm. big fart? Like there was a fart trap behind your turd. It's like I think that's a medical out by issue. the gas. And it's like projectile. <laughs> yeah, yes. it's like a foong in the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. It's like you a, like the a plop car. and then like a like a machine gun. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like a car backfiring. That yeah. fart though feels so <laughs> good. He's got, like, got anti like, leg. <laughs> I like Amazing. I like what? the ones I like the ones that are like. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I really it's like a shotgun that, blast. Like a week ago, I actually did go to. I was at the bar and I went to like stand up real quick and I did shart. I'll admit it right here. <laughs> oh really? Like an yeah, actual it. poop in pan chart? Like full on, full on to charty home. town. I had yeah. to. I had to close out and leave immediately. I wish I had that as like a defense mechanism to getting molested. You just just you shit do. myself <laughs> everywhere. It's like a lizard with like <laughs> a probably like you a stink have sack. Probably defense yeah, I don't press know. press my like molest button and shit all over myself. Honestly, that's a good idea. If you're getting like unconsensually butt fucked, just crap. Just Oof. shit on the dick or something. Yeah. I but feel like somebody you. who's who's going to Make town sure on you unconsensually you really doesn't care about shit. <laughs> you snorting some coke off the side of the fucking thing or what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing. Uh, <laughs> I'm like doing oh, a shit. fentanyl boof off the camera. <laughs> boof. <Fentanyl notes. laughs> Isn't that like boof a, the butt thing? Sounds like a black kid. <laughs> fentanyl boof. I don't know if that sounds like a black kid. I think that was just racist. Yeah. I think you're right you about that. You're talking about black kids. <laughs> yeah, why are you talking about kids at all? They're not boof. They're not boof. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds like an Indian kid. Uh, Is that better? Hello, my name is all Boof. Okay, no, that's. Yeah. You're not. You're not doing it yourself any favors right now. What what is, okay, sounds like a white kid. Hello, my name is Fentanyl like Boof. It's, is that no, better? No. Just stop. Just no. leave, it, the leave it in the of past. All. That was the most racist one. Fuck! Leave it in the past. Yeah. Um, it's okay. I ended up blowing up his computer. So no worries. What? Yeah. How did you... Wait, you is this, actually? Is this actual lore? I yeah. fucked his wife 20 times behind his back. <laughs> Snapping over my strings, bitch. Once in front of his back. One string equals one <laughs> fucked family member. <laughs> yeah, I think I've told the oh, story. Oh no, before. all my guitars broke. <laughs> or I've told it with you here, but Ethan, it was back when everyone had like the gray computers that looked like a Minecraft block where they were oh, huge. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. was like all built into. Well, no, I think there was still a tower, but it was like the big monitor, you know, like the massive yeah, monitor. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Ethan, I told Ethan, I said, go over to his computer and highlight everything on his desktop because he had files and files and files and just bullshit yeah, all yeah, on his covered. desktop. And I said, go over there and highlight everything on there and press the enter button like. 20 times <laughs> and, Ethan, <laughs> and Ethan fucking did that shit and that computer bricked it never worked again it was done yeah and then my buddy in the next class got in trouble for it and he had to like clean his room up for a week or some shit what yeah was it was a wall wall? It, Clean his room up at home he had to go to the teacher's house and he had to room. clean up the fucking like music room for a week for a month. But Ethan owned up to it and said it was him. So the other friend didn't have to clean. Did you end up uh, having to clean his room for a week? No, I just got uh, like ISS or something like that. Uh, they sent you to the station? space station? Holy Dude, shit. That's was, pretty fucking what a sick <laughs> detention. <laughs> it was dope. awesome. That's where my love of space began, actually. But it was actually it was fun. <laughs> sent him to ISIS. Got sent to his, okay. <laughs> that's just like my grade school. They put me in the ozone layer. <laughs> that don't exist anymore. It. Nah, I know it. this was back in they the said, day. All right, they sent him up there spray. with a hammer, a few nails. <laughs> Ethan fix the ozone layer. <laughs> Just needs some two by fours up to the is. ozone. Just <laughs> 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 what are going from there? there? You see a big old liberals. Like, give a Mexican a thirty pack and some old plywood, and they'll go up and fix the ozone. In the <laughs> some day. guy in coveralls, no clipping through the sky, fixing the ozone. Yeah. <laughs> a Mexican in creative mode, flying around up there. <laughs> I guarantee, you if we sent Mexicans to space, they'd fix the ozone in a day. Oh yeah, <laughs> they'd, duct tape it. Up they'd have it done before dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Just duct tape it. That's all you got to do. We need do. to send the Mexicans and the Amish up to space. Yeah, We'd put, have no more problems. Put the 
Amish on the moon. See how quick that bitch is colonized. Dude, <laughs> the Amish colonized, would fucking yeah. freak out. I like. You, they don't even want cell phones. You're gonna put them on a space station? Yeah, yeah they true. can't even have like a stripes on their shirt, and they're gonna go into space. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, how's a horse gonna fit on the space station? <laughs> <laughs> what happens Where if you take a the horse corn? to space? <laughs> I've got to take my buggy on the, put a, uh, on the station. Put rockets on the horse, and maybe they'll be all right with it. You can't churn oh. butter the same in space. Just <laughs> 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 to strap the, a carriage to the back of a rocket awesome, ship and send awesome them off. Awesome goddamn Amish go. moon butter. <laughs> <laughs> Amish moon butter. Dude, that sounds like a... <laughs> I, I don't know what that's that like a strain of weed. Thing, like. It's a strain of weed, I think. Yeah, that's like if I if I typed it in on Urban <laughs> Dictionary, it's gonna be like when you piss into an Amish person's ass or something. Yeah, <laughs> and then you like turn it with your dick, and then you fuck oh, the piss. Oh, oh, Make the Amish oh, move oh, butter, baby. Now that's gonna be a real thing. I promise you, that's gonna be the, on the fucking internet the day Amish of this podcast. Butter. Going Amish Started moon butter. Let me to put that on the Urban Dictionary. <laughs> Oh my god, that's awesome. Internet, make it happen. Oh, which moon butter. <laughs> oh, we, we've cemented ourselves into history with Amish oh, moon butter. Cement it's yourself in textbooks across the world. <laughs> <laughs> textbooks. Oh, what do you guys think about shin guards? Okay, shin guards? For what, what context? Yeah. I don't what? know. Well, what, what do you think, think about them? What do you think about Shanghai? Shin guards? Shin guards? I used Shangri-La? them in soccer. Uh, I wear them in hockey still. They're cool. Chin guard. Effective. Not a chi- Are we talking about chin or shin? What's a chin guard? When you're Sorry. sucking dick? What do you need uh, a yeah, chin guard sack. for? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a sturdy nut sack. I gotta put on my chin guard. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Why have nut sex not evolved to be oh, hardened you, in armor? You said it's so offended, like you, like you Dude. called you out on something. Bro, you did really? Or something. No, are you serious? <laughs> I told you that in private. <laughs> no, but seriously, why are nut sacks the most like gentle skin on our body? Why is it why not like need hard, to be hard as a rock? To why do you need bugs? hard nuts? It's because you're not a Scientology boy. You ain't read the exactly. final. Yeah. You, you haven't read the final footbook. Yeah, yeah. You, you haven't learned ball gotta, sack hardening <laughs> technique. You gotta rub that volcanic ash on your nut sack to make it hard forever. Yep. You travel back to Sauron or whatever the tit, and then you dip Sauron. your balls in the lava. <laughs> yeah, you, you go to yeah. Algotha. <laughs> I only know what that is because the Joe Biden meme. <laughs> I know that. Algotha. This podcast is going to get flagged for something. For misinformation. <laughs> <laughs> Probably so. There's too many buzzwords and then bullshit after it. Yeah. YouTube bot is like freaking Air out. fryer bomb glazed donut. <laughs> air ISIS. fryer bomb. <laughs> I would have made a bomb either? with an air fryer. I used to have an irrational fear of Michael Jackson. Have I told you guys about yeah. that before? Yeah. I thought he was going to like pop up in your shower or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, like yeah. Pennywise? Yeah, I did. I used to think he was going to, every time I closed my eyes to shampoo my hair, I always thought Michael Jackson was going to come out, out of my shower drain and hunt me. He's just made of, like, that liquid from Terminator 2. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I remember I, uh, I like, met this, this this group of people while I was doing the Mage Tree things, and there was, like, an older woman in that group. She showed me her boobs, which is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was you mean in real that. life? In real yeah, life, yeah, like, yeah, in real life, yeah. Okay. What so the you fuck? met a, an old woman on RuneScape, and she showed you her boobs? Yeah. I Wait, can't remember okay. what, through what media, maybe MySpace or some shit. I don't remember what was going on back then, but... Yeah, so it's not a real conversation titties. I'm having. Okay, so she... You didn't she, think she, to bring that up at all before an hour into the Yeah, well, I've been playing RuneScape this whole time. You didn't think to bring up old lady boobs that you got shown on RuneScape? <laughs> you could have... That would have been a perfect... Conversation segue after me talking about the old woman that hit on me at the bar. <laughs> right. That would have been fucking I golden. just didn't think about it. I'm sorry. This, the the well, shit she she thing reminded me. Why did she... Okay, that makes sense. Why did she show you her tits? Because we used... I used to just flirt with her and like the... Because we were in like... In this little oh, like clan, kidding. like group chat thing. <laughs> and I just... I was macking on this old woman and... Yeah, one day we just... I, I can't remember what... Maybe it was like AOL messaging or Hotmail or some shit. Oh yeah, baby. And she just showed me the yiddies, and I was like, fuck yeah, dude. Pretty sure it was underage, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was like 16 or 17. Bro, there, there are people who have gone to prison for things they've done in RuneScape, and that could be one of them. Yeah. Wait.
Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the Goons Podcast. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the Goons Podcast. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to, 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 Welcome back to the band solo. Welcome back. Thirty minutes now. Before welcome back. Welcome yeah. back. Woo! Welcome, welcome back to the Boon, the Boon's Godcast. Welcome back to the Goons Podcast. Welcome I'm back sweaty as shit, back. dude. You guys There's believe in ghosts? Rat kicking a rock? No, fuck no. Nah. No. Good. I'm too much of like a nah. like a. You're too like smart a man for that. Of science. You're a McNasty man of science. A man yeah. of science. I don't know how he's, <laughs> he's known for. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't like. I enjoy Little Caesars and science. It's my <laughs> only two things. <laughs> I just don't like. Uh, I don't have like a spiritual bone in my body at all. I yeah, just... I'll pray for you, bud. We can save yeah, you. Thanks. thanks. I'll make a bone of your spiritual if you want me to, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, those those ghost good. shows are goofy as shit, though. Yeah, they're silly. I didn't get a chance last week to tell you guys about my horse leg experience, and you guys, what happened? <laughs> you what? guys wanted to ask about. You ate that. a horse leg. <laughs> yes. Okay. So we went to this Italian restaurant in Toronto. Yeah, I was kidding. Um, it was yeah. No, I thought it was too, <laughs> but it was me, Smitty, Scotty, and and all of our girlfriends, and we went into this place, and immediately there's just this big fucking leg hanging from the ceiling. And I jokingly was like, oh, finally, I can eat a horse leg somewhere. And then we sat down on the menu, and the first thing I noticed is that you can get horse leg. So uh, like we legitimate. ordered it, obviously. Yeah, it's leg. actually a horse leg. No, you don't get the whole leg. Well, that's what fucking oh. Scotty was thinking. <laughs> Scotty was leg? like, why is it so cheap? I was like, I don't know. It's just horse leg. It's probably not that hard to you get. You like gnaw on the hoof. Yeah, and I, I, mean, just, like I just thought it was going to be like a little chunk. You chunk eat the one part meat. of the leg that you're not supposed to eat. The food. <laughs> Beats 30 plus. <laughs> I'm just going to eat the fucking tibula. But uh, <laughs> they, they brought it out with like basically like charcuterie. So it, was, it looked like normal charcuterie meat. And I didn't actually know which one the horse one was. But all the charcuterie meat I ate was good. So, you know, I had horse leg and it's not bad. So if you find a horse, I knew it. Is that legal? go eat it. Yeah. I know. I don't know. That's, like, that's what I was guys, thinking. It's like, you think somebody was just like driving to work and he just like smashed it with his car, came into the kitchen, told the boss, he's like, you're going to fucking believe what I just hit with my car. We Let's serve in it. that. Oh it's probably yeah, the one that died at the Kentucky dude. Derby. <laughs> you guys ever heard of alligator? Uh, I feel like that shit is way better than horse legs. Uh, <laughs> alligator? I was on the alligator kind of. I've never had alligator. Dude, so alligator's I, just fatty, you know? So Love at the it. same restaurant, I also tried uh, deep-fried pig ears. Um, mm. Those bacon? were weird. Bacon tasting? Exactly like bacon, but I think it's because they fry Beautiful. it in the same stuff as bacon. Hold on, I can post... Actually, bacon hold on, grease. I'll show you guys a picture of the horse <laughs> leg if you want to see it. <laughs> show us show the horse ear. leg. I've always heard the I'll horse was the really, horse like, uh, gamey. I thought you don't really eat horse. No, it didn't taste super gamey at all. I, I mean, like, it was... I don't know. It was it literally tasted 
no different than like normal charcuterie meat, like a prosciutto or something. So Dude. that's the pig ear. Prosciutto. Oh, oh that's legit. That's, just that's ears. fried pig ear. Yeah. Um, where's the horse leg? Looks like a fortune cookie. Earwax. That's it does. Ear <laughs> yeah, yeah, it did. It did. It didn't taste like a fortune cookie, but. It definitely looked like that one. Does uh, look, where? That doesn't look edible to me, honestly. It, no. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so this is a horse leg. So this like is the first wing. thing you see oh when you walk in. Oh my god. And I joked, I was like, nah, what look, the they got horse leg here. And I thought it actually wasn't going to be horse leg, but <laughs> it it's like a rock. horse leg. Uh, see, I, dude, I was yeah. going to ask you, dude, I was going <laughs> to ask you, was it, like a, was it like a real <laughs> horse leg that was hanging from the ceiling? or what? Yeah, I was thinking you were- It's a straight up horse leg. Wow. That's it's like a uh, stalagmite that sounds... thing that hangs from a cave or some it shit. It looks like yeah, something you would see in Outlast. <laughs> it looks like yeah, a... <laughs> it reminds me of like the forest whenever you like cut a person up or something. Yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of real life. Maybe you cut up a person or something. Yeah. Uh -huh. You've got experience with this. Fair enough. How do you think they cut that off the horse? Do you think they like sawed its head off with a chainsaw? Oh, yeah, before I don't they know. You think they like what? Oh, probably a thousand was... degree knife, if I were to guess. He was like taking a little nap or something <laughs> and they just fucking snatched it. <laughs> they used a spoon to thousand cut it off. Thousand degree knife versus thousand degree spoon. If you actually yeah. owned your own horse, would you still eat a horse? I mean, yeah, that it's horse. not bad. It's like eating a yeah. dog, dude. I don't know. I'd eat like... a dog. <laughs> I tried dog once. Yeah, I was dog. Definitely try it. I feel like I have like a 1% chance of maybe still getting into heaven, and if I eat a dog, I'm just straight up going to <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> you know? yeah. yeah. It's like thinking about it. Nah, never mind. You think that's I'm where sorry. they draw the line for Yeah, God's going down the list of all the bad things I've done in my life, and at the very bottom, it's just like, oh, you ate a fucking dog, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Great, See you, man, buddy. We gave you all the <laughs> fucking <laughs> cows and chickens in the whole world, and you ate a fucking dog. That's I like a bite. ate a horse. I, I try a bite. <laughs> I'd have a bite of dog. Do you think like if you took the players. trachea out of a giraffe and like swung it around, it'd be like one of those toys that go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd <I'm laughs> love that. I think it'd be 50 shit. pounds. Yeah, it'd probably yeah. Yeah, it's a good workout too while you're doing it. A giraffe He's, looks like a special like a baby rope. drew it and then God just made it. <laughs> a special <laughs> baby? Like a special baby tried to draw a dog and God was just like, yeah, sure, we'll throw that yeah, in the DLC. Yeah, fucking idiot, here you go. We'll, we'll put that in the DLC for you, buddy. <laughs> DLC. So right, well, what's like, the weirdest thing everyone's eaten? I want to know now. Everyone's got a, a horse leg and pig ears. <laughs> well, we knew that. We knew that. <laughs> Mine's probably a cricket. Ass. Air fried, yeah, air some fried bugs midget and shit. <laughs> Nugget person. I had midget breast last Nugget week. person in an air fryer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> midget Peruvian, <laughs> Peruvian midget breast. <laughs> yeah, I, I prefer Brazilian midget breast, but uh, you know, I'll allow Peruvian. Get some golden retriever nose. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, oh, that's so yeah. sad. Sorry. That's the yeah. nose. Bro, that's Sorry. actually it's probably like nice nose. and chewy. It's like two Air calories butt. in the whole nose. It's like chewing on a bouncy ball. <laughs> no, one of the, one of those long snouted dogs with those fucking. Oh, yeah, the race dogs. Oh, I would chewy yeah. for. You dogs. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> you know that meme with the dog with the long ass nose? What are you talking about? I, I know. I forgot about that. It's like an old TikTok. Well, not really. A little old, deep fried meme. TikTok meme, yeah. That's why you shoot you it with an arrow. The pellet you, can, out. Uh, you can kebab it. <laughs> kebab it? Yeah, just. So you just yeah. light them on a flame and just eat them out in the middle of a field. Or you just pay someone <laughs> to clean it the right way. <laughs> yeah, you can probably do that too. Or you could just eat a buckshot. Or just blow it up, and then you can just rake up <laughs> fucking meat. Just eat the, Throw a grenade the remaining it. meat. Just catch it as it falls. Just you can blow it up and then go around with a Dyson and just throw, dump the Dyson in a frying pan. <laughs> what? Oh. Drop it from 10,000 feet above. Yeah, he's done it before. <laughs> just watch Rack, it explode. You, need to, you gotta, you gotta uh, wrap the elk. Secrets. Drop it on like wrap. an elementary school and just boom. Wrap <laughs> the <laughs> elk in metal and then pick it up with a helicopter with a big magnet attached to it and disconnect it while you're flying over. So okay, it drops and spirits, chill the fuck out. Have you guys ever seen that video of that whale on the beach that fucking explodes and it like we were just, just oh, yeah. I really that. its blubber yeah. just like destroys cars and yeah. shit like <laughs> didn't it kill somebody? Oh my god! Uh, I don't it know would have killed somebody. somebody. Like it crushed I wouldn't a be car surprised. flat. I thought it, yeah, I thought it, it killed somebody. <laughs> it literally flattened a motor vehicle. <laughs> Holy oh, yeah. shit! Oh, Imagine dying heavy, from right? whale blubber. Yeah. Dude, I'd be so pissed. Like you're in your How backyard, like three miles away. Be? Yeah, like, yeah. No, it was a great man until it rained whale. You're just fucking barbecuing <laughs> burgers, and a fucking chunk of whale fat hits you in the head and kills you. Do you think their life insurance covered that? I don't you never know. It's gotta act probably of, not. Act of whale. Definitely, it's an act of act something. Of, yeah, that's gotta be act of God. God yeah. didn't like you. That's an act it's of dynamite. 
Yeah, it's not an act of God. Someone actually blew that bitch up. Yeah, they so. put dynamite. That's involuntary that manslaughter <laughs> with yeah. whale blubber. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can you go to jail? Are you liable? <laughs> Imagine explaining Probably. that in jail to Dude, your fucking new jailmate. A blue whale can be up to 330,000 pounds. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, no way. Just imagine that. 330 pounds? So that liver's like... Pounds. Yes. The yes. liver's like Bro, two tons what? or something. 290 Dude, yeah, to 330. Oh my god. Dude, that's just imagine heavy. all that just raining down from the sky. Yeah, you Dude, that's die like, instantly. That's like a whole building. I know. Easily. You could oh kill fucking it's like a couple of those. That. That was like the <laughs> that was like the nine eleven of the animal world. Just a That's fucking one whale Lizzo. falling from the air. Oh man. Dude, that would have been so goaded if they just like picked up a whale and just slammed it in the twin towers instead of taking a plane. Yeah. Yeah, nine eleven should have been more. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that would have been, been goaded, man. That would have been so goaded <laughs> if they did nine eleven with a whale corpse. <laughs> What a no, weird man. way to use that word. He's good to get the whale alive. <laughs> There'll be no time. conspiracies at that point. Yeah. Everybody. Oh, a whale it. body can't melt steel beams. <laughs> <laughs> whale, whale body. Whale fat doesn't whale burn. Blubber. Whale blubber. <laughs> yeah. Incredible. That, how, how do they transfer yeah. them to like different aquariums? They just put a leash on them. They blow it up. <laughs> now they tow them behind the boat. Wormhole technology. <laughs> they just tie up the tail and drag wormhole. it behind a boat. <laughs> we've, just been, we've had wormholes, but we'll only use them for that. <laughs> we can go to other galaxies society. and shit, no, but we just Bobby use it for Brown. whale transportation. <laughs> a secret society of whale movers. <laughs> the government doesn't want you to know. <laughs> Oh god, this is so Training, why'd you say Millie Bobby Brown? Yeah. <laughs> the, the crack from Stranger Things, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> you couldn't say the crack uh, from Stranger she, Things, you just had a name. I thought she knew the actress's it, real name. Wormholes. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't know her name? Come on. I don't- yeah. I mean, I don't know who that is, I just heard the name before. It's Eleven. I mean, Drake. What? Drake knows. She's Eleven? Drake knows. Lamp what is being said? Drake. <laughs> yeah. Do you think if Stranger Things took place in the South, they would've called her Eleven? Took place. Eleven. I, I don't- I don't know, man. Doesn't it take? Is it in the? I don't know where the fuck it is. I've never watched an episode. Actually, that's a lie. I watched half of an episode with that fucking mini lad's house once. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. it ruined the whole experience. Huh? Yeah, it did. <laughs> Although the chicken wings were banging, I'll, I'll say that. The what chicken was the only wings thing were was banging. Well, <laughs> at least they weren't yeah. cupcakes. Almost banging. No cup. No cupcakes. Wrong creator. Wrong creator. <laughs> Same vibe. Mark, what was the story you wanted to, to tell me? Oh, fuck. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, for a little bit of context, um, Soup always sends me memes on Instagram. And I usually save them for when I'm driving up to Toronto or something on a road trip or just like whatever. I have like a bunch of time Downtime. I'll go through and it'll, it'll yeah. kill like half an hour because he sends me like fucking, I don't know, a good 10 memes a week. And, and they're all bangers. And they're all awful. And I... <laughs> so, so, dude, <laughs> I'm in the hospital, literally waiting for my grandpa to die. They just took him off life support. <laughs> and, and I saw my phone light up. Thanks for the funny like, story. And I was like... Yeah, I feel great now. All, sorry. <laughs> and, but, dude, so the room is, like, kind of quiet. <laughs> it's like, the vibes aren't exactly good. Hold on, let me go to the meme, too, so you can get like a Blar's full... like one of those people that just laughs is when it you're this? supposed to cry. <laughs> yeah. You're no, you gotta to get, get a full <laughs> idea of what the fuck I opened in this silent room full of old people waiting for my grandpa to die. Alright, hold on. So it's Friday night, I'm getting ready to go out. This is Joe oh, Biden. I saw that. With Bud Lights I got it for you. talking about how cunt he is. <laughs> it's the word he used. So I literally opened this fucking thing on accident <laughs> that just opens a Joe Biden talking in a list <laughs> saying, I'm going out and I look so cunt. <laughs> like five Bud Lights in front of him. Doing the Lord's work. <laughs> oh, it was just like, just on I don't full do blast. It, 
yes. Well, I oh, just opened it. It was just like whatever my volume was at before, which was nearly full. And I just fucking closed my phone, and my mom just like turned around, just kind of looked at me, and was like, "What the fuck was that?" I was like, "I don't know." She's like, "Why are you watching this?" Right at least it wasn't the MLG moan, dude. It was so bad. I, <laughs> I felt mean, so really. fucking uncomfortable the whole like rest of the hour I was sitting in there. And I messaged Soup. I was like, "Bro, you have no idea what you just did." <laughs> I'm sorry. That's probably like the last thing my grandpa heard before he drifted out of this oh world. My god. <laughs> oh my oh god. god. I thought you were going to say it dude. saved his life. No. Yeah, grandpa actually oh. got up, slapped the phone out of my hand, and then died. He called it. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Man, it doesn't dude. matter if you ate a horse leg, you are going to horse. <laughs> oh my god. It was, it was so fucking bad. Oh, I was just oh. like in disbelief that I opened it. And I was like, I did not even think twice. I just like, I don't know, I was so distracted. I just like opened something from soup. I should have known better. And I was just... <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's I'm so sorry. funny. Bro, I, it is so fucking funny. But yeah, that's uh... That's, 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 you were now a part of, uh, you were in the room with us, buddy. <laughs> you were, I was there. there. Well, was transgender there. Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah, you and transgender Joe Biden came to, came to comfort us in our time so of So nice. <laughs> little comic relief at the worst possible time. <sighs> I was, I was just in disbelief. I wasn't even, I didn't even know how to like laugh or what. I was just like, yeah, all right, that's what that was. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly lock my phone real quick. <laughs> I mean, at least uh, it didn't uh, happen during the funeral, right? So uh, I mean, I don't know. I feel like that would have been better because, like, <laughs> oh. he could still probably hear. Like, he was just literally just sitting there waiting for death time, and he so he could probably still hear. So he had to hear Joe Biden <laughs> talk about his fucking one of the pussy. last things. <laughs> <laughs> oh That's my fun. fucking god. <laughs> Oh, so what a funny. wow! What a send off uh, into the afterlife. So fucking <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, bro. Jeez. Oh, oh. yeah, that's uh, that's what happened. That's uh. Yeah, that's when you what said story about, about Instagram, I was not expecting that. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, that was uh, that was that. It was uh, it was pretty funny. Oh my mm. god. Wow. So <laughs> I there. noticed to like 30 people at once because I get I, I, I just, get like nine from you every day too. I, I just yeah, everyone in my recents, I just send everyone memes. I, I can always that. tell when he's like shitting or something, or like yeah. when he first wakes up and is sitting in bed because I'll just get like I'll wake up to a fuck ton of them. So he shitted <laughs> at 6:23 uh, a.m. Cool. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. Anyway, <laughs> well, uh, dang, it's anyway, funny how consistent you are. Now that I'm in a good on. mood, <laughs> I'm gonna wait to open your memes from now on during like, I mean, sad times or some the shit worst in my possible life. time. Yeah, I don't want to seem <laughs> insensitive, but like when it comes to Down syndrome, like is it like headed before they're out the womb? Are they all <sighs> like related and shit? You know. Are they all related? Are they all related? all related? I think that's what like, are we even like talking cousins? about? What do you mean? Know. Like all Down syndrome people about know each Down other? Down syndrome ISIS no. people. <laughs> They're interconnected or something? Like they, they all, all kind of look the same and powers. shit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you <laughs> and one of them with that thick neck though? <laughs> like I I they're all on the same <laughs> Wi-Fi network. They're on dial-up, bro. What do you mean? Password is plain milk. One, two, three. All right. Soiled the milk. No, it's You guys actually edit me out of this. Yeah, I'm, I don't want my face to be on this podcast. Today. Me either. Do not tag me in this video. <laughs> oh, this is not good. This is not a very kosher podcast today. Hat in Alaska. I'm pretty sure he's a mayor. Yeah, he's a mayor. I mean, I'm like doing an acre of ice. <clears throat> How does he survive? Is it like free tuna for everybody. <laughs> so, Mayor Stubbs is his name. Uh... <laughs> He was born in 1997. Oh, he just okay. died. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, what? <laughs> okay, the mayor he, like, died. just died yeah, while he, you were reading that? He was in... <laughs> this just a breaking <laughs> news. I remember. Dude, so <laughs> he, was the, he was the mayor of Talkeetna, Alaska from July 18th, 1997 to July 21st, 2017. Oh, my God. What does that even happen? I didn't know they could live that long. It's actually like a decent-sized... Place. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure cats live. A yeah, they live like time. like my yeah, my cat lived to like 21, and she was still healthy. Oh my well, God. ish. But she started peeing on shit, so we said. 
But uh, hunger up next to that horse leg. Yeah, there's uh <laughs> ten or sorry, there's one thousand people that live in this live in this city that's ran by a cat. Oh, I want to see if you like pass any bills. You think someone tried to assassinate the cat because they didn't? There's got to be one or two. There's a conspiracy there. I want to yeah. see his career. Try to throw it in a tub of water yeah. somewhere one time. <laughs> They even had a little election for him. Do they have a, a cat translator? There must not be, like, much going on in that town. If they had yeah. an election they... and everything. <laughs> so, uh... Like, alright, today is <laughs> day. Bring the cat Apparently, out. Apparently, the cat got a bunch of votes because everyone hated, uh... What was this? There was a Senate election in Alaska, and a bunch of people voted for the cat. What, like against a, a dog? Who was he running no, against? No, uh, against, uh... To both the Democratic and Republican parties. Damn, get shit on. I bet there's right. no crime in that town. <laughs> yeah, what do you? <laughs> so you who makes like, the decisions? The cat? Like, I don't. I, I don't guess get I don't it. know. They probably just like. It's like Groundhog Day. Yeah, they probably put two <laughs> things in front of them. Like he saw a shadow. One, We're not. One no blows guns up allowed. the city. The other one is just like they do garbage day on Monday. Start a <laughs> nuclear war with Russia. Uh, make a new park. <laughs> yeah. Secede from the union. Or eat cat milk. <laughs> we know which one the cat's picking. <laughs> Incredible. I want to see him in office. Where's he at? Oh, apparently uh, every afternoon, uh, he went to a nearby restaurant, drank water laced with catnip, so he had a drug problem. <laughs> All right. That's cool. My boy was high. The Already whole time. controversial. <laughs> yeah, bro was high as fuck the entire time running that city. Or he was just really <laughs> calm and cool. <laughs> whoa, whoa, no! There was an injury! On August 31st, 20... The, there was an assassination attempt! No! On For real? August no, 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 wait, 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 hold on. For real? Was it by on a dog? On August 31st, 2013, Stubbs was attacked by a dog. <laughs> there you go! No way. It's like a Dr. Seuss story or some shit. He suffered a punctured lung, a fractured sternum, oh and God. deep cuts. Damn! Oh Them goddamn God. commie God. dogs! What'd they do to that dog? What, that dog's dog like a alone. deep... Dog's in like Russia, a deep Guatemalan prison somewhere. Russia sent the dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it took nine days for his return to office. That's not so bad. Jeez, they got nine lives. Can't That's take terrible. him down. So, yeah, it's gonna take oh, ten assassination he? attempts. Blood. Oh, he also what the fuck? Okay, he also was shot by teenagers. <laughs> what? And he oh, fell wow. into a restaurant's deep fryer. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was no accident. <laughs> and he survived. That. He walked into the wrong restaurant. <laughs> he yeah, he fell into it. it. And this dude still lived till 20 years old. What the oh fuck? Oh my god. Damn. Damn. He had a full life. I wonder if he walked around with a Kevlar vest on. Yeah, I don't know. You, like, you think he had security? Like, he just walks with, like, two Probably. buff dudes <laughs> next to him all the time? Just two massive cats walking with him? Two tigers. <laughs> just, like, two leashes off of his fucking neck and two buff-ass men walking beside him with guns. A couple lions and tigers, yeah. With a toy just dangling above his head all the time. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Yeah, shout out wow. Mayor Stubbs. May he rest in peace. R.I.P. Mayor Stubbs. Did they? Did they? I wonder if they reelected a new cat after that. Are they just going with the cat? Know. Cat uh, hierarchy now. It. I'll check. Did uh, the new cat change any policies or you know, leave everything in place from the previous? I don't know. Let's, uh, everything. The new cat's like a massive racist or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Hitler reincarnated as a cat. <laughs> Mario, play your outro. Did the math? I'm baby Johnny Cash. My girl gon' throw it back. Now my life is in the mass. Holy hell, this max. I make hits and you make trash. I'm on vacation, do not ask. Pulls out even Apple Jacks. Shut up, bitch. Shut up. Big deal like TJ Maxx.